Greetings to all. This is Reverend Farley. How are you coping today? I just want to share a word of encouragement with you. I hope that this period would be a time of refreshment. I will not allow the circumstances to overwhelm us. I just want to remind us today of God's all-surpassing power. That this is a time that that power can be demonstrated amidst our difficult circumstances. Without doubt, this is the bigger picture to be seen in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic that engulfs us at this time in Barbados and around the world. In the Church of a Nazarene, there are all others impacting. We are tempted to focus at this time on fear, chaos in the marketplace, job displacement, long lines at the supermarket, banks, and other places of business, difficulties on the virtual platform, multiple, multiple problems with Wi-Fi providers, overcrowded hospitals, an unusually high number of sick persons, daily record number of deaths worldwide, wrecked economies, an unusual number of suicides, food shortages, and the list goes on. Indeed, these situations are overwhelming and are enough to take the wind out of our sails. This is understandable, enough to make us feel hopeless and afraid. But let's pause, let's pause. Pause and turn our eyes upon Jesus. Does he care about the sufferings at this time of his people? Is he unaware of the damage the pandemic is causing around the world? What do you think? Has he deserted us? Can God help us? Does he still care? One songwriter puts it this way. Does Jesus care that my heart is pained too deeply for mirth and song? As the burdens press and the cares distress and the way goes weary along. Oh yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary and the long night dreary, I know my Savior hears. Encouraging words, aren't they? So in our distress, According to Romans 8, 26 and 27, we do not know what we ought to pray. Pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And He who searches our heart knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. Indeed, we have to believe that because it's so very true. Yes, with God's help, 
my dear friends. We will get through this. We will get through these ferocious times. Indeed they are. Granted, very difficult times. For Jesus has promised. He's promised us that he will never leave us, nor forsake us. Do we believe that? He is still Emmanuel, God with us. You see, in all this, in time, we will see his all-surpassing power demonstrated. In the midst of our brokenness and sorrow and pain, God will show forth his supernatural power and might. Our weakness and fragile efforts and strivings will become vehicles to demonstrate his light and glory in miraculous ways, far beyond our comprehension and imagination. We just have to give God room to work in our lives. His presence and spirit, which live within us, are indestructible. That's good news. That's great news. These difficult times cannot destroy that powerful spirit within us. We are just temporary vessels that contain the divine and majestic treasure. Paul reminds us of this in 2 Corinthians 2 Corinthians 4 7 to 9 But we have this treasure Paul writes in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. What great words of encouragement. You see, Paul's focus was not on the perishable container. Yes, because we are frail, fallible human beings. We are the jars, according to him, jars of clay. But Paul's focus was on its priceless contents, the treasure, God's power dwelling in us. So in these very difficult times, let us draw on God's all-surpassing power to get through these hazardous and tempestuous waters. And at the same time, reflect his marvelous light, <clears throat> excuse me, in the midst of such intense darkness. Yes, we are in dark times. But be assured, this dark cloud that the COVID-19 pandemic has cast upon us shall be lifted. Yes, God's all-surpassing power will do it. It will happen. God will bring it to pass. We have to believe that. He will do it. As Charles Spurgeon reminds us, there are no immortal sorrows for immortal souls. They come, but blessed be God, they also go. Like birds of the air, they fly over our heads, but they cannot make their abode in our souls. We suffer today, but indeed, we rejoice tomorrow. We suffer today, we rejoice tomorrow. So let us, in spite of these prevailing circumstances, 
difficult though they may be. In the midst of this pandemic environment, let us look to God in hope. He will, without doubt, make a way for us. He is the way maker. He is the way maker. God's all surpassing power is available to us today. That's our reality. Let's draw on this great power to make our situation and use it as a witness for God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for these difficult times, these dark times, because in the midst of such darkness, Lord, your light shines brighter. Use us as channels of your glory and your power that we will comfort those around us. And indeed, our faith will be reinforced in these difficult times in the midst of this shutdown. May we not shatter and close our minds and our hearts, but like the song says, may we open the, may you open the eyes of our hearts. We will see your glory in amazing ways. Lord, those who may feel depressed at this time, those who feel and are pained, Lord, we draw on you. Comfort us, strengthen us, and take us through these difficult days. And may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen, listeners. God bless you richly. We will get through this period because God is in control and he can use these situations in amazing ways. This is a time to sense his miraculous, all-surpassing power. God bless you. Take care.